Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, and today I am reviewing this little gem, the Pocket Hose. This is uh, this compact little case is a scrunched up hose that when you put it on the faucet and turn on the water is supposed to stretch out to 25 feet in length. So the idea is that you can keep this little guy wrapped up right around the faucet and then it's not dragging across the ground, dragging across the driveway and so forth. And when you turn the water on, you got a 25 foot hose, you turn the water off, it's supposed to contract back up and be this little thing you can hold in your hand and then wrap it around your faucet or something and it keeps all the mess away. As opposed to, of course, to a regular garden hose which doesn't contract at all and you got the loops around or you got to store it somewhere or another. So I'm going to test this out, take it outside, hook it up to our faucet and see if it's going to let me water my plants. All right, I've got the pocket hose here. Let's see what comes in the package. It is pretty compact. Well, there's the hose inside here, an offer for stuff, and then an instructions read before use. Yeah, I'll read that. Anyway, this is the hose. I don't know that I'll ever be able to get it this rolled up again. Let me undo it here and see. Huh. It's kind of tangled. In fact, it, it's knotted up. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, here's what we got for adapters on the end. This piece has got your on off switch. And let me back up here and show you what it starts out at lengthwise. I'm about six feet. So I'd say it's about five feet twice, so it's about 10 feet. 10 feet without any water. Time to hook it up to the water and see what happens. We always have issues with uh, our hoses leaking right around the point here on the, the copper thread, so we have a little bit of old plumber's tape. I'm just going to leave that here for this test. Let me zoom in a little to show the hookup. This side right here. It's all plastic, there's no metal, there's no uh, washer, there's no plumber's tape or silicone or anything. All right, that's reasonably tight. Okay, I want to simultaneously check for leaks here at the faucet while seeing how fast it expands. The other end has that little switch and I've turned it to close it. So I assume the water pressure should shoot it out to its full length there pretty quick. And let's see what happens. Well, it's moving. It's coiling. Oh, it's alive! We do have some leak, but yeah, it always leaks there at the handle. Well, all the accordionness has disappeared. This is now very tight and taut. Yeah, and it's holding the water in. The seal at that end is good. Let's stretch it out. See what it's going to do. Well, let's see if we can reach over here to get to these flowers. No, it doesn't quite make it. Yeah, the leak has definitely come from the handle, which has always leaked. I don't, however, see anything leaking from the from either the connector here or from this um, connection right here. It seems to be good. It's definitely not leaking. There's no water coming out. So, all right, we've got it stretched out here in pretty much a straight line to its full length. I'm going to open the little switch on the end here and see what happens to it. Whoa! There's definitely some water pressure there. It's getting a little bit shorter. I see it pulling back a few inches, but it's not accordioning back. That's good. I'm guessing that sort of is a function of the water pressure that you have. And it's, yeah, I would not more than a few inches, two, three inches, I would say. It got shorter or longer, depending on whether that valve was closed at the end. Okay, to measure out the length, see if it's really 25 feet, I've got the end of the tape measure here, right where the faucet's at. Of course, the faucet's about a foot and a half up, so I've got to figure the hose is a little longer than what it shows based on this. And we'll walk along here. This is, of course, under pressure. 
with the valve closed at the end and we come in at 25 feet 4 inches plus you got to add probably 7 or 8 inches at least to make up for the hose going up to the faucet so probably close to 26 feet you do really get a 25 foot hose that's true all right time to test the cleanup and see how much it's going to accordion back together and how easy it's going to be to put it away compared to my old muddy other hose got a view here i think you can see most of the hose and I'm simply going to turn the water off here. Water is off and then open the valve and see what happens. Much to my surprise, it's doing what it's supposed to. Okay, there's still some water in it, I can feel that. I've got it folded in half here with the bottom touching the ground and it's maybe a couple inches longer, but it's pretty much gone back to the same height. Let me dump this water out. It's down to just some drips now. Pretty good actually. It went back to just about the length that it was before in pretty quick fashion. nice and small. Let's see if it'll fit on the faucet. Like they show in the commercial. What do you know? It really works. Well I've taken the hose off the faucet and brought it inside. According to the instructions you're supposed to not leave it on the faucet but really unless it's winter time when you, you know, take the hose off and put a cover over it to keep from getting frozen pipes I would think most people would intend to just leave this out there all the time. If you uh, water regularly or need the hose out front at least once a week, you're probably going to leave it hooked up. But to preserve the life of your product, you're supposed to disconnect it when you don't use it and bring it in. Let it dry out, I suppose that probably would help. So I really can't tell you anything about its um, longevity, how well it's going to hold up, whether the seams will hold up, whether they'll start to leak whether it will mildew, whether it will get kinks in it, that's supposed to be kink resistant. But I can tell you that the first impression and the first time trying it out, I actually kind of liked it. I didn't think I would. I was prepared to say, yeah, well, save your money, you know, just go buy something for the same amount down at Lowe's, that at least will last you a season or two. But no, my first impression of this was actually pretty good. Um, if you want to see what other people thought and uh, what the going rate for it is, I'll put a link down below where you can go to click to find out more about it. But um, I'm giving it a mostly thumbs up at this point and um, maybe I can compare it to some other hoses, maybe I can uh, give it some more time and see how it holds up and I'll report back and let you know.